hello everyone so in this video we will be talking about uh, using j unit testing for java applications specifically in this video we will be uh, using eclipse id in order to run j unit test cases so let us see what is j unit and what is unit testing and then with the help of eclipse id and with the help of uh, live program we will see how we can create a test case for our chosen function at the end of this session we'll also talk about how you can write complex test cases at the same time uh, we will also see about some of the fundamental uh, features which eclipse provides us in order to effectively implement j unit test cases so let us move ahead the objective of this video will be like that say say at the end of this session student will be able to use j unit testing framework in eclipse ide for unit testing of java applications when we talk about java applications the java application can be a simple console java application or it can be in a uh, an enterprise level web application which might involve servlets and gsp as well so let us move ahead uh, let us see what exactly a j unit testing framework means a j unit testing framework is fundamentally a, an api java based api jar library which is given to a developer so that a developer can write a unit test cases so uh, as per the standard software engineering definitions we all know that generally when we write a code a uh, codes a uh, module level testing is done under unit testing framework a module of a source code can be uh, like say it may be a smallest part or a testable part of code so this modular approach is very heavily used in modular programming approach wherein a major task is split across smaller sub task and instead of testing an entire large module we write a small unit test cases which test the sub modules so j unit testing framework is one such test engine specifically tailored for java based source code modules okay so let us see uh, how we can write our own j unit test cases in eclipse id and before you move ahead in this with the following video make sure you have the following prerequisite installed on your machine so what you what we expect is we expect a small fundamentals of java language at the same time this video is using java 8 as its runtime so make sure you have a java 8 installed on your machine and also make sure you have a working eclipse ide so right now i am using the latest available eclipse ide for this video okay. so let us see uh, the live example of this so i'm going to uh, use my eclipse i'm i'm going to use my desktop i'll be switching to eclipse ide then i'll create a project and we'll see an entire process so i'll be typing a code and then i'll be explaining whatever i have typed on my code here so let us move to eclipse ide so this is a, a general eclipse uh, ide so i don't have anything on this eclipse framework right now so what i'll do is in order to test a java code i need to first create a java project so i'm creating a java project and this java project i'm creating it so as to write a small java module which will let you know whether the given number is even or or not so once i i write a method then i'll be writing a unit test case which will test the correct working of that method so let us talk uh, let us name our program as a demo and let me move to a next so make sure you follow the steps as it is what where i am doing in a window as far as if you are completely know what you are doing you are free to do your own way of creating project but if you are complete absolute beginner make sure you follow the what are the uh, path flow which i am following in my video so let us click on finish so this creates a project and under source folder let us add a main class under which we'll write our method which will check whether the given number is a even or odd so i also want a main method within this main program so i have checked the main method so this is my main program so i'll keep now here under this main method i'm going to define a method which will check given an um, integer number as an input to this method is it a even or a odd okay let's see how i write that method so we are inside a class i'll write a public method here public so i'll call method name is is even and it would accept one integer i as a variable now since this method the functionality of this method is to check whether the number is even or odd the return type will make it as boolean so if the given number for example here if the i is even i'll return true if i is if i is not number i'll return false here so we'll need a condition statement we'll write a i'll open a if block and here as you all know that if i mod 2 we always check the mod if mod equals 0 it's a even number 
since the function is checking for is even, I'll return a statement called as return true. So let me try true. So true, this is how we write true in Java. And if it is not, I need to write an else block here. So if it is not, I'll return false. Okay, so this is a method. So this works. Now, fundamentally speaking, when I, if I want to test this program, what I do is I usually write um, inside main method, I'll be creating an object of this. So here I say new main, then with the help of this object, I'll be calling that method. Okay. So this is how I usually to do it. Okay, so this is true. This method is returning. So I'll put it inside a sysout to see what value it is giving me after calling method. So I'll take a two lines of methods, one with the even number and one with the odd number. So you should find true in first and, and output of second statement at line number seven should give you false as an output. So let me run this. So this is not a unit testing. You can see that here, here, here I find exit two is a even, you have a true as an output. Here you have a three as an input and you have a right output of the method is false. But th this is a manual way of testing. We cannot rely on manual way of testing for long. When we start writing enterprise uh, Java level applications, your code might have uh, say hundreds of even thousands of methods. At that time, testing is automated. So in order to automate the test, in order to test each and every method of a class, we have to rely on a unit testing. So let us see how I can write a unit test for this. And upon running a unit test case, how you would verify whether the function has worked or not. So let us see how to add that. So Eclipse uh, elegantly gives you a very better way of uh, adding a unit test to it. So let's see how I do it. So for this demo, select the package explorer. I'm under the package explorer window, right click on that. And after clicking that, you can, you can say new, you will find a J unit test case here. If this mean is not available, go under other. Usually once you have created J unit test case, next time onwards it starts appearing in the, the same recent menu. So once again, new J unit test case. And here you mention a proper test case. So let us say it is a test case for even. So I'm writing it, you can name it properly, but make sure you always follow the naming conventions. Now what I want, I want, uh, now unit test case, a few different ways of writing, setting up a test case. Make sure you always, have a setup method checked because under this setup method you will be creating an object. Now if you recall our earlier video you what you find is uh, in the main method we have uh, created an object of main class and then I call that method. The same is done here in this setup method here. So I have checked the setup method and what class you are testing here. So I am testing so I am testing the main class. So here you can write type and do you can just type main. So this is the main class which I have written in a default package. This is the main class. Make sure you select the class. Once you select the class, then you can add a test case for that method. For example, now I'll move to next. Then after selecting a class, how many methods of that test class are put under test? Now here I want is, it is is even. So I have selected is even. Now I want a test case to be written for that is even method. So I have selected is even and I'm clicking on finish. Then it is asks me to add a library to that. Okay, so let us stick to the default implementation given to us. Then what I'm saying, I want to add Java unit file library to build path. Yes, see, okay. Then it creates a test case for me. Now you can see that under default package, you have main.java and test case for even. Now let us see that by default, the test case is always fail not implemented. So now we are gonna implement it. So let us comment it out. We have commented out and inside a setup, now here, you create a reference for a main. Okay, just create a reference for a main and make sure you initialize it to null. And inside this, here you will be actually initializing the object. Make sure test cases can be run many times. And whenever you run test case more than one time, setup always once executes only once. So it's very important you write the code which only the initialization code, it has to be always written inside the setup method. So now here I'll be creating new main object. So this is new object. So I want a main object to be only created one. And here within this, I want to make sure, I want to assert the method always returns true if even number is passed. So assert is one kind of test case. So now I can write here assert. So this assert, you might now ask me like why, how assert has appeared. Eclipse takes care for you in importing right packages for you. So you don't worry about what to import, what not to import. 
So here I'm directly writing the method which will check. This will call your method. Now what I want to see is whether the method returns true if even number is passed. So now, now there's a method for that. We call that method as assert true. So you can rely on the auto completion of Eclipse which guides you very well. So this checks whether it, whatever you're gonna pass between these two uh, brackets, will it return true or not? If it returns true, the test case passes. If it returns false and expected is true, the test case fails. So let us write that. So we have already created object. We call it as object dot is even. And here I have written two. Okay, this is what. Now I want to execute this. So right click onto this and run as. Now remember, you're not running applications. You are now running it as a JUnit test. Click on that. Okay, so it, it will allow you to ask anything. Let's make sure everything is allowed, allow access. So now you can see the result of JUnit execution. It is all green. It indicates that your test case is passed. Now if I if I modify this, for example, if I three and what I'm expecting, what I, what test case I'm defining here is, I am telling that this method should return true. Okay, that's what I'm testing. But am I I am providing a wrong input three? So here in this case, test case will fail if I execute this. Okay, you can see that test case has failed. So now here I'll make it is now if you want three to work. So I, I want you, uh, my function to return false if it is. No, this is how I can assert return of false value. So if, if I make it as false, and now if I execute this, you will make sure you will see that the test case is passed. Okay, so this is it. Now let us see what, are, what we have actually seen in this hands-on. What we have seen is we have seen, now you can just recall. So you can pause the video and you can think uh, like what we have actually learned in this video. But uh, see, what we have learned is we have seen how we can use Eclipse to test a Java-based applications by using JUnit uh, test engine. Okay. So as a further reading, what you need is you can go through these links. So you can go, you can Google JUnit and you can go and you can review for further reading. This is it. And this was a bibliography. You can go through JUnit unit guide and you can also go through the wiki to understand the fundamentals of unit testing. Okay. This is it for this video.